What's good, Wealth Builders? It's the man, it's the myth, the Wealth Builder himself, Devon Pudden Workbook. And today we're talking about the business corner week in the week. That on my grind is an understatement. Don't think I'm thinking you can check my bank statement. I'm about my money, yeah, that's a basic. World domination is what I'm truly facing. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We talk about making more money, saving more money, building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's get to the topic on hand. The business corner, we can review July 5th to July 11th. All right, so this was a busy week for business as per usual. So I want to get started ASAP on this one. Okay, so last week in the stock market, Krispy Kreme got cream no I mean, Krispy Kreme if you don't know what Krispy Kreme is is a donut chain okay it, it's off to a bit of start after officially going public again okay while the company was hoping for $21 to $24 per share valuation the IPO was priced much lower at $17 the donut chain raised about 500 million dollars which was much lower than initially expected the 84 year old company went private in 2016 after G J A B holding company a food chain investing firm acquired it for 1.35 billion after its disappointing initial price point the stock still soared over 17 percent it's looking like it could be a winner still though they even opened a new flagship type location in the middle of Times Square. And if you're looking to grab some of this stock, it's trading under the ticker DNUT. I know, right? It sounds weird, but it is what it is. All right, so moving on, we got Robin Hood. Robin Hood is sticking to his guns. Well, kind of, sort of. Robinhood is setting aside 35% of its shares for individual investors in hopes people will sign up to purchase the shares on its new platform that allows access to IPOs before they start trading. SoFi Technologies Incorporated and Public Holdings, Public Holdings Incorporated have also put together IPO access platforms for individual investors. Robinhood and its competitors believe everyday investors should play a bigger role in the stock market. There are, are some kinks needing to be worked out with this system, such as ensuring the investors understand the risk of IPOs due to the lack of data and other important factors. Robinhood is being sure not to blindly lead any more customers amidst its $70 million lawsuit due to the lack of transparency with its users and series of outages. Robinhood is a platform that people are having a love-hate relationship with. Okay, you love it because of its easiness to use, but the fact that they have done some real shady things in the past doesn't really sit well with most, okay? For instance, the whole meme stock investment thing, yeah, we remember all that, Robinhood. Trust me. All right, so China. China is doing the Diddy bop, 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 or nah. Well, what happened, right? Diddy, D-I-D-I, -I, is down 19%. It's a Chinese ride-hailing company that made the public de debut on the NYSE last week. It's known as the Uber of China. The company is massive. It was listed on the New York Stock Exchange with a market cap of around $68 billion. Why are shares shrinking, shrinking so much? <laughs> well, a couple weeks ago, China announced that new Diddy users would not be able to download the app while Chinese government conducts a cybersecurity review. The Wall Street Journal reported that Diddy was advised by Chinese regulators not to go public when it did because of the extensive review that was coming. Regardless, the company went public and the Chinese tech crackdown pushed it to a low of 11.58 on Tuesday morning. Weibo is China's Twitter rival and it plans to be private even during the country's tech crackdown. Okay, Now, Chinese authorities have been tightening regulations over the past few years, Okay, trying to make sure tech companies do not become too powerful. 
the increased regulatory actions will slow Chinese IPOs down. Over 50 Chinese companies still plan to go public in 2021. The Chinese don't play no games, man. Last week in tech, <clears throat> you gotta ride the wave, man. The U.S. is focusing on a wavy new form of renewable energy. Renewable. Say it again. Renewable energy. Wave energy. The U.S. Department of Energy stated that $27 million in federal funding will go towards research and development of wave power. The funding is being split up into three different parts. $15 million will be testing wave energy converter technology. $7 million will be for wave energy research and development. $5 million goes towards the advancement of wave energy converter designs for PacWave, a wave energy research facility located in Oregon. The U.S. had a pretty catastrophic year last year when it comes to its carbon footprint. Natural gas and coal electricity generation took up 40% and 19.3% last year. The total shares of renewable energy was only 19%. As the U.S. tries to distance itself from the overuse of fossil fuels, Packway hopes that wave energy research will become fully operational by 2023. Some quick tech crunch news. Google got hit with the second multi-state antitrust lawsuit. TikTok is officially testing its video resume feature, which allows users to apply for jobs for at companies like Chipotle, Shopify, and Target. Renault CEO expects the semiconductor shortage to continue through 2022. Amazon will open source its game engine, enabling developers to create royalty-free games and simulations. Amazon Web Services, Adobe, and at least 17 other companies will participate in the project. Let's talk about some healthcare news. Dollar General is taking bigger strides to become more of a healthcare destination for customers. It hired its first chief medical officer and is adding products like cold medication and dental supplies. The new push is to offer more accessible and affordable healthcare products to the nearly 27.5 million Americans without health insurance. The company has also made greater efforts to bring fresh produce and meat into their stores to encourage healthy eating at a lower cost. Dollar General's prices are around 40% cheaper than drugstores and 20% cheaper than grocery stores. With over 17,400 locations across the U.S., Dollar General announced it will open at least 1,000 more this year. The stores will also be much larger in size to make room for more food and healthcare aisles. Last week in crypto, you could say Circle is on a roll. The crypto financial services company announced plans to go public via SPAC at 4.5 billion valuation. Okay, in May, it made history with the largest crypto related investment round ever recorded. And four years ago, it partnered with Coinbase to release USD coin, which is now the world's second most popular stable coin. In its investors' presentation, Circle projected that USDC's circulation will reach. 190 billion, a sevenfold increase in the next two, four, two years. Of course, there are a bunch of more news headlines, but I'm not going to make this super long video, you know what I mean? Sign up to the Wealth Builders Business Corner newsletter and stay up to date every day sent to your email inbox daily. The link is in the description. It's free, so you might as well subscribe. And with that being said, thanks for watching and subscribing. It's the man. It's the myth. The Von put in work. Burke signing off for the Business Corner Recap, July 5th through July 11th. Do remember, well, brothers, make more, save more, build more. Uh, I'm about my money, yeah, that's a basic. World domination is what I'm truly facing.